all have them. We use them every day, but for a variety of reasons we don't allow most of them in our classrooms. Largely because we haven't been able to figure out how or why a cell phone can be used for a learning tool, the choice has been to ban them. While this is an understandable response in many cases, educators are wondering how to use these powerful tools to help engage students and more importantly, help them learn. Carla Dolman, a middle years teacher at Craig School in Craig, Saskatchewan, and her principal, Gord Taylor, are asking these exact questions. As part of a novel study that deals with an experiment, Carla decided to allow her students to use their phones to help them learn. Besides discovering some new uses of their phones for productivity, they are also using them to expand the range of learning. Students are using the built-in recorders to capture voice, video, and images that represent their learning in ways other than text. In a media-driven world, learning to communicate in ways other than text is now an essential skill, as important as writing. The cell phone is a multimedia device that enables communication in text, voice, images, and video. Many of our students are carrying around these underutilized tools in their pockets every day. Embedded in their work is discussions about privacy, etiquette, and manners. It was uh, a non-issue for most kids in the class. I would say all the kids in the class. It was just uh, hands down, straightforward, this is how you use a phone and this is how you don't use a phone. We generated a list and we put it up every day when they have ELA and uh, it's never been an issue that I have to go back and refer to the list and remind them about the protocol of using the code. So thank you for respecting that. I appreciate that. And I too will respect that. I have some of your cell phone numbers. I'm not just going to... Watching Carla and Gord interact with these students represents, for many, a shift in education. Not only is there a clear sense of student-centered learning, but also we see the teacher themselves as a learner, and their students understand they are learning together. As Gord Taylor says, the novelty of the phone will quickly wear off, so the focus must not be on the tool itself, but on learning. As we witness the explosion of new tools and technologies, teachers must be prepared to explore and adapt to include these opportunities for learning. Thank you. 